Mizuma TV back in the building, man. What's going on, y'all? Shout out to Mizuma Nation. Shout out to the Mizuma Mob. We in the building as always, man. I hope everybody's having a blessed, beautiful, positive, productive day. On my way to go get it as always, man. I hope y'all doing the same, man. On the road to 2K, we about to crack that 1500 mark. You know what I'm saying? We got past that 1400 mark over the weekend. You know what I mean? Shout out to the nation. Shout out to the mob for making this possible. All right, y'all. Let's talk about the future with Devin Heaney. You know what I'm saying? And, and what could pop what could potentially be next for him um, in his next fight. You know what I mean? Devin Haney just came off of a spectacular, spectacular performance. One of the best performances in his career, in my opinion, against Regis Program, man. It looked absolutely sensational. Uh, one of very few fights that I've seen at a elite level where it was com it was like utter dominance. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's extremely confident right now. Two division world champion, five time world champion in two different weight classes, man. And um, he's ready to make the biggest fights happen, or at least he says. You know what I'm saying? Um, they have been talking about the possibility of fighting Gervonta Davis. And that's what we're going to specifically speak on as of right now. You know what I mean? Um, but before we get into that, let's talk about exactly if the Gervonta Davis fight doesn't happen immediately, which I believe it doesn't. You know what I mean? Gervonta Davis seems like he got something locked in around uh, March or around that early time frame of 2024. Uh, what, what what possible opponents could be next for Devin Heaney? You know what I mean? Um, being that he's a WBC world champion right now, obviously uh, uh, there's plenty of fights that can happen for him. Um, it seems like Arnold Barbosa is very uh, motivated to try to get one of them big uh, money fights uh, with somebody like Devin Haney. I wouldn't mind seeing that fight in the meantime. You know what I mean? Um, there's other champions in the division that, that'll be willing to take him on. Maybe a Super Real Matias, that'll be a banger, man. I would love to see that fight. I seen Bill Haney speaking on Super Real Matias not too long ago. Um, Devin also has the option to go up to 147 pounds and face guys like Mario Barrios and Keith Thurman. This is things that Bill Haney has said. You know what I mean? So not only does he have options at 140, but he also has options at 47 if he chooses to pursue that route. You know what I'm saying? Being that he's now the WBC champion at 140, he probably is could be somebody that they can mandate Mario Barrios to fight for his WBC interim title. You know what I mean? So um, he definitely has options. Where he's going to go exactly, I don't know. But the fight that I, that, that I really want to speak about that should be happening in 2024 is Devin Haney versus Javante Davis, man. I think enough is enough. I think that we've been waiting long enough. There's a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of buildup uh, between these two. There's a lot of history between these two. They don't seem to really like each other. Um, probably not on a personal tip, but like from a competitive standpoint where it's like, oh, you not fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? And on, on that type of time where they just feel like they better than each other. They feel like they could both defeat each other. You know what I mean? And there's been a lot of, it's been building up for years now. You know what I mean? Leonard Ellaby and Mayweather Promotions have made it clear that they believe Devin Haney doesn't bring anything to the table and um, they got to let this fight build up and things of that nature. But at the same time, Javante Davis is fighting dudes that really don't bring anything to the table. Whether we're talking about Hector Luis Garcia that they brought up in weight, whether it's been, um, um, who else? Isaac Cruz, he brought nothing to the table when he fought Tank. I mean, yeah, yeah, when he fought Tank. Um, Roley Romero, besides running his mouth and having a good little build up to their fight, um, he didn't really bring anything to the table as well. He didn't have a history of selling tickets or anything of that nature. And being that Devin Haney is one of the most popular fighters in boxing, being the fact that they did some pretty solid numbers out there in San Francisco, considering the fact this is a pound-for-pound -pound talent, I don't see why y'all couldn't, you know what I mean, make this fight happen. This fight would generate a lot of revenue. You know what I'm saying? This will this will be a lot of pay-per-view buys. This, tick, this, this fight is a guaranteed sellout. You know what I'm saying? Guaranteed sellout. Whatever arena they choose to do it in, man, it's a guaranteed sellout. Whether they do it in Vegas, uh, 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 who, who knows, somewhere in California, this fight will do numbers, man. So I think enough is enough. I think that we definitely need to see this fight in 2024. Where exactly in 2024? I don't know. Maybe mid, maybe mid 2024, maybe at the end of 2024. Regardless, I don't really care when it happens. But I just feel like this fight just needs to happen for the culture, man. This is one of the biggest fights that could be made in boxing, along with the Benavidez and Canelo, along with the Boots and Crawfords, or uh, who, who else? Who else? Um, you know, the Wilders, Joshua's, all that stuff. You know what I mean? Their fight is right up there with these guys. You know what I'm saying? This fight is right up there with these guys. And you can make a case that this fight may be bigger than some of the fights that I have just previously mentioned. You know what I'm saying? So um, I don't know what Javante Davis has lined up 
from what I'm hearing is an Isaac Cruz rematch, which I definitely don't want to see. You know what I mean? I've seen this man defeat Isaac Cruz with one hand. You know what I mean? Uh, Frank Martin, I wouldn't mind seeing that, but that's not a bigger fight than Devin Haney. Um, I, I just don't see what route Javante Davis can pursue with a PBC fighter that'll make more sense than a De Devin Haney fight. That's just what I personally believe. If it's not Shakur Stevenson, it really don't make sense for Javante to fight anybody else. I ain't gonna lie to you. Maybe that maybe that little time that he spent in prison, maybe he wants to get a little tune-up. I don't know exactly what the situation is, but regardless, Devin Haney, Javante Davis, both of these guys are in their prime. Both of these guys are making statements. Both of these guys are extremely confident. They're at the peak. They're at the highest point of their careers, both of them at this point in time. So let's see this fight happen, man. No excuses necessary. We don't need nobody having a rough performance and then jumping into the into this mega fight. You know what I mean? Both of these guys are at their best right now. You know what I mean? So um, that's the best type of fights we 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 could we could see as boxing fans. Dudes that are undefeated, um, decorated in terms of accolades and accomplishments and who they face. You know what I'm saying? Why not make it happen? It's a beautiful thing to see. Um, this would definitely help the sport grow. And um, that's what I'm for at Mizuma TV. You know what I'm saying? Making sure that the boxing co culture moves forward. You know what I mean? But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Do y'all want to see this fight happen right away? Do you want to see this fight happen next? Do you want it to marinate more than it already has? Y'all let me know what y'all think. This is Mizuma TV. Thank you for tuning in. I'm out of here, man. Peace.